the Ukrainian, Ukrainian Center in the Minneapolis. Ukrainian American community for their Lenten feast, which includes pierogies, which is why I'm so happy to be here. Same. And fish. And fish. And french fries. Yep, and coleslaw, and onions, and a bar. All for $15 right. each. You could get a beer and a wine, too. Yeah, we can't do that in any other place. You tell me where we could find that. Sure. They know what they're doing here. Mm -hmm. It's got a long line. Oh my god, Amy. And I feel like $15 is a good price. Wait till you taste the pierogi. Really? Uh-huh. That's the only kind of dumpling I'll eat is a pierogi. I like dumpling. I want more of that onion sauce they put on. Caramelized onions. They got live music. Really nice event center. It's over by... Um, Riverside? R R Kerminsky's. Um, I think Psycho Susie's is up the road. Buck sucks. Yeah, I assume. Oh, man. You're going to put some potatoes inside a dumpling and boil it? I You're talking my language. I can... mm. God, I love dumplings. God, I love um, cultural things. Basically, I just have a whole plate of different ways to eat potatoes. Here you go. You can use this one, and then we'll use that one. Uh, we're, this is our first Lenten thing this year, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I guess um, we did Guadalupe last year, and uh, what was the other one? The Great. Who's the saint that's great? Albert. Saint Albert the Great. Oh, also another very one good. This one's got a dessert table too. Those peronis are huge and delicious. Mm -hmm. Wow, Amy. Very good. How's the fish? Because I didn't get the fish. The fish is I really just asked good. for pierogies. They really uh, dark cook it over here. Good. I saw it's Lady like a put fish no. Fish schnitzel. Fish no. Schnitzel. I saw a lady put coleslaw on her fish. I'm gonna try it now. That is a game changer. I'm so happy right now. No, take some fishy things away. The pierogies, upsies, are nuts. Okay, here to support the Ukrainians. Mm hmm. You need all the support they can get. That's the fucking truth. Um. They're real hospitable and really nice people. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know how to cook. A pierogi has a lot of different names. <laughs> it's like a verinkini, verikini, verin, veriniki <clears throat> in Ukrainian, and it is uh, a boiled dumpling. Mm -hmm. It means to boil, the, the Ukrainian name. And it's just mashed potatoes in a convenient finger food format. And that and caramelized just... onion. Wow. If you come, get the onion. Get the onion. Mm hmm. Mm. Um, we heard one people, some people in line saying, where'd you go last week? So people make the rounds. Mm -hmm. Kind of smart. Mm -hmm. Supporting your local church and getting a different meal. I heard there's a Swiss, what's it called? Rolat. The cheese. Oh, raclette. I heard there's one of those out there. I gotta check that out. There's a lot of ways to not eat beef on a Friday. That's for damn sure. And it's, um... Always fun. We always learn a lot. Mm -hmm. So come to 301 Main Street to the Ukrainian American Cultural Center. We learned that the Ukrainians like to have a drink on when they're um, eating and providing drink. Mm -hmm. That's smart, man. A lot of people like to hit it. And now for dessert, they got cake. It looks like a sim similar frosting. It does. I don't know if it's anything related to the Ukraine, but it, all I know is it's Traditional soft. Ukrainian cakes. Mm. That's yummy. You are not getting any part I'm of I'm taking a bite right now. Good. I need to get the frosting. Yeah, I 
are you taking that? Because I want my back. Wait, I gotta try it first. The cake, she's moist, she's crumbly, and she's delicious. Absolutely delicious. You don't like the chocolate? I do. I like both. I like this one better because it's bigger.